Hello, I'm Joey Altman, author of the book, Without Reservations, How to Make Restaurant-Style Food Easily at Home. And today I'm gonna to share with you some great recipes for entertaining restaurant-style in your own home. Today's menu is an Italian-themed menu, and I'm gonna start with a panino with prosciutto, figs, and brie. And it starts out with a flat loaf of bread like this, and I'm simply gonna cut some croutons by slicing off the end, and then making croutons about a quarter to a half an inch thick, just like that, and then to make them a little bit more manageable, I just cut them in half. Now I put them on a sheet pan that's been lightly oiled with olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and then I bake them at 350 degrees for about four minutes or so, just to get them just lightly toasted, not very dark at all. And then I take some sliced red onions, and I just have them sliced, again, about a quarter inch thick like so, and then I cook them in extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper for about six, seven minutes on medium till they start to get lightly brown. And then I add a little balsamic vinegar to sweeten them up and I keep stirring them until they get really nice and soft like this. And then if you can't find fresh figs or figs are out of season, this fig jam will do the trick. Okay, my onion jam is done. So now I'm gonna slice some really nice fresh brie cheese onto my crostini here. And I simply spread a little bit on like so. Nothing too fancy. It's really important you want to get a nice ripe brie that's nice and soft and runny. Now this recipe is really simple, but the most important thing is that you get great ingredients. Good prosciutto and really good ripe brie is the difference between good Fantastic. So I have my crostini topped with the brie and my fig and onion jam is cooled. Now I could prep this to this point and then allow one of my guests to actually finish it. And I would just show them to take some of the jam, just put a little bit on top of the brie like so. And then after they do that, what I have them do is take some of this sliced prosciutto, just tear a piece off and just lay it on top of the onion on top of the brie. And then after we get them all done, we put them in the oven for just a minute, about 350 degrees, just so that brie gets nice and runny. And then we're gonna toss the little greens and put it on top and then serve them. All right, my brie is nice and soft. The prosciutto is nice and soft and warm. So now I'm just gonna place some of these crostini onto my beautiful white platter here. And this really showcases the colors, really lovely. Now when you're plattering hors d'oeuvres up, you don't want to crowd them. Space them nicely like that. Now for the garnish, I have some beautiful baby arugula leaves. And I take some extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit, and then some sea salt. Just gently toss them. And then I simply just lay that over the top like so. And those colors are just so beautiful. But it's also a real important flavor component. And that's what makes restaurant food so spectacular. 